Hello Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, of course, to your weekend tarot reading. What's coming up in the next 48 hours? We'll see what's coming up for you and your person, your energies, thoughts, and feelings. Now, if you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and we'll see what comes up for you. Um fire signs this weekend your energy what's coming up okay a lot of stuff is imbalanced right now when you're end fire signs you're feeling you're feeling the um you're feeling it Okay, you're doing it tough, I feel. Now, the Six of Wands, it's all about you. You either need to put yourself first um, or your ego is 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 coming forward here, okay? Um, the cards that are reversed, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, Justice card, the World card, right now it's all about you. This weekend is all about what you need, what you want, what's best for you. The focus needs to be on you and making yourself feel good, feel better, and feel wanted. You you will be neglecting, I feel, everyone else, your person, what they want to say, what they want to do. It's going to be a weekend that needs to be around you and your priorities. So I feel like there are some major internal shifts that are happening for you and it's super empowering. It's going to put you in a good place. Um, there is new connections that are potentially forming around you with the Ace of Cups, okay? Um, it could be with the Pisces here. Uh, we do have the Justice card, so it can be a Libra as well. But you are, they are reversed next to you, which would indicate that right now is not a good time to start anything new. It's not a good time that you, for you, I feel, fire signs. There's too much to do. There's too much to see. There's so much to accomplish. Um, that with a world card, you're not seeing the opportunities that are around you. Okay, there's a, there's a relationship that's reversed here. The justice card is a little about a partnership, a counterpart. And because that card is reversed and it's right next to you as the six of ones, I get the sense that the ball is in your court, but somehow you've had something to do with this reversal fire signs. Now, part of you may feel responsible for what has happened or you feel at fault about what has happened. But because you're with the six of ones energy, you're either not seeing it or you don't feel guilt for what has happened. You don't feel like it is completely your fault. You feel like someone instigated this or someone else had something to do with it. Possibly your person here. So right now with the six of ones, you're not letting them see how you're really feeling okay you're not letting it show but i get the sense that there's an unhappiness here within you okay there's an, un an unhappiness about how things have progressed or how things have turned out um you're even pushing friends away with the three of cups it's reverse the friendship card i get the sense that you may not be getting the support from your friends and family about your relationship you're not getting the support or the encouragement that you've been wanting. So you're like taking it all on your all on yourself and going, you know what? If they're not going to help me, I am. Or I know what's best. I'm going to do that. And hey, if you need to do that fire signs, do it by all means. You know, listen to yourself. You're a very powerful energy. So if you feel like you're not being listened to, if you feel like you're not being supported, you will not hesitate to step into your own. You really won't. You'll put your best foot forward and you'll move from there. Um, I get the sense that this weekend really needs to be about you and clearing your energy, your mind, your heart, your, your body, your soul. Do all of those things for you. I feel like the attention needs to be on you. It's long overdue, I feel. Let's see how your person's handling it, though. What's going to be their response to this, this sort of thing? Okay, they're not going to be too happy about it. Um, for some of you, this person may even say, oh, well, I'm moving on with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. They may um, pretend to move on or they may act like they're moving on. Or the Six of Swords could indicate that they genuinely want things to get better. Uh, but they're going to be angry, okay? Once they see the Six of Wands energy, they're going to respond with the Seven of Wands. So be prepared for someone to be a little bit fiery towards you and say, well, how come you haven't responded in... You know, what's taken you so long? Or why didn't we do anything this weekend? Or, you know, there may be some accusations that come to surface here uh, with that seven of wands. They may accuse you of something. 
Um, but you're causing them a lot of grief, fire signs. I don't know what it is that you're doing, if you're doing it on purpose or not, but it's definitely going to affect them and they're definitely going to be feeling it. Look, for some of you, I feel like this person does, okay? It's a lesson that needs to be learned, I feel. You're doing it for protective reasons, I feel, uh, but this person is going to feel it. And look, it may nudge them in the right direction. It, make, it may just make them wake up to themselves, wake up to their behavior, or wake up to really what's going on here, fire signs. I feel like a lot of you want to show something. Now, I do feel like someone's going to step up here, though. They're going to, as, as much as they may be angry or they may threaten you in a way and say, I'm moving on or I'm doing this, that, um, in the center of the reading, we see the chariot. This is all about moving forward, um, coming forward, stepping up. Okay, especially emotionally speaking. Why? Because the chariot rules over cancer. Cancer being such an emotional energy of love, of devotion, of attachment, of being drawn to something here. So I feel like you're, you, by you doing this, you're actually going to draw this person in closer, despite what they may say or how they may act. Ultimately, I feel like it's going to bring them closer because they see you as the Ten of Cups. Okay, there's, there's some sort of clear moment that may happen this weekend and this person is going to have that epiphany and be like, you know what, I want to spend the rest of my life with this fire sign. I want to move in with them. I want to have kids with them. I want to buy the house. I want my happily ever after with them. They really believe that this is a twin flame connection. And that's why they'll put themselves, you know, they may go through hell and back. They'll put themselves through a lot for you. And I think for a lot of you, it, it, it might even be what puts you in that six of ones energy because you're going to see that from this person and think, you know what? Yeah, they are here for me. Um, they're growing up. They're, they're committing. They want to be something. They want to show me something. They want to prove something to me. You're going to see that. Um, so I essentially, I feel like you'll take a step backwards and they're going to step up. They're going to step forward. They're going to be more in your space. Um but there's also something they need to work on here, fire signs with the chariot. This is about overcoming challenges, which says to me there's a lot of potential through this person somehow. Okay, there's potential for them to work on their issues or addictions or whatever it is they have going on. They they want to work at it. They want to work at it and they want to make it better. Okay, and straight away, this is a very, very good sign, especially if you have kids and you have families or blended families or you were planning children or you're pregnant. These um, cards very much indicate that that's, that person wants to solidify um, those relationships and wants that in the future with you, whether it's the near future or the distant future, they want it fire signs, they want it bad, all right? So I'll leave it at that. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and of course um, hit the bell notification button to get readings, to get updates, sorry, for readings for your sign. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. Lots of love, everyone. Please stay safe and bye for now.